Good morning. Welcome to SCADA World YouTube channel. Today I have something about the operator two-stage operation in C action. First of all, we need to make the application window so we can display some printf functions and I will put also a button. This button will start something. After someone click this start, we should have the another question that if operator want to turn on this or not. And I will have a circle and this circle will change the color regarding our uh, decision of our operator decision. Okay, so we have the button, we have the circle and we have C action now. Okay, so we need to go to mouse click and we check the C action script. In C action we need to write some scripts. So today we will make the simple script regarding the window pop-up message box and this message box is prepared to keep our data what operators selected. First of all I created the window handler for the information which window we are running. It's age window, it's null and the next is return because if, so, if operator selects something we need to know what kind of information operator selected. First is window handler. We can make the find window function and this function can trigger for us the new PDL0. So if we have this selected we can have our message box on the high level layer and without this our message box can be on the background. Ok, so now our return value is a message box and this message box is a function for C and for this we need to have the handler so we have the find window new PDL and we have the question do you want start something. Do you want trigger this button? Do you want something? This is the question. It's on the pop-up window. Now we have the title. For us will be the question about... It's enough title for this. And we have some parameters. If you need more parameters, just make the win user message box and you will get more parameters. I will use just the MB yes no, MB icon question because I want to display the question icon and MB APPL model. So operator need to select yes or no before he can make something else. Okay, and now regarding our return value we want to trigger something. So if our return value is yes, we should trigger our cycle, for example change the color, and if our return is zero, we can make the color different. Ok, so we can also make the printf function, so we will see in diagnostic window what operator selected here, and we can have this as a string, and also we will make the function change the background color in C action. Ok, new line also on the last 
of the string so we have this information so if our return value is yes operator clicked yes if else it's operator clicked no and now on the internal function we have the color set the back color and we have the function set back color okay we can make the picture name so our picture name is new pdl0 our object name is circle and the back color should be the integer so I will put just the random number and the same option should be appear in the no option so we select different color and this different color will trigger when operator select no okay so we have our function ready and we can try to compile okay we forget about the semicolon okay yes let's save and let's run our wincc runtime so we have our start button and we have our question about do you want start circle and we have our question icon and we have yes and no buttons after we click yes and no we have operator clicked no after we click yes operator clicked yes and the color changed okay my diagnostic is not so well so let's go to editor and let's change a little bit this script for example if operator clicked yes I will put the zero and if operator clicked no I will set my back color 999 so after yes I have black after click no I have red color as you see I have yes no yes no depend of the operator choose okay now I will display this script so you can take this and use in your application so you have the window handler you have the find window function you have the message box with parameters you have the set back color in C action and this full script is running under WinCC V7 okay thanks if you like this video subscribe to this channel and see you on Friday bye